Hi everybody, my name is Angela Tai. I am the project coordinator with Faces for the Future Coalition. Today we are continuing our alumni spotlight video series with one of our alumni from our Imperial Valley program who graduated in 2013, Allison Galarte. Hi, I'm Allison Galarte. Um, I graduated in class of 2013 from Valley Union High School. Um, I started UC Berkeley in 2013 and I'm finally completing my senior year, majoring in public health, and I'm also interning at Sutter Health Alta Vase Medical Center in the finance department. Um, you know, it's really cool that you know, you're still very much involved in the health field. Looking back at your high school experiences, can you tell us what role FACES played in that? So I think FACE has played a really pivotal role in my high school experience as far as preparing me for college, for the medical field, for exposure in general. I think, you know, they really helped me out with, you know, giving me college tours, um, mm -hmm. information on like what's the correct way to do resumes, yeah. workshops really early on that prepared me and made me feel comfortable applying to jobs now and applying to internships now. Yeah. But one really pivotal role that I think uh, Dr. Tomas Magania's program plays is just genuine exposure to so many possibilities that are just within the healthcare field, you know. Yeah. Now, um, as a public health major and, you know, discussing topics with other students in the class, mm -hmm. I realize that it's more than just, you know, one position of being a doctor. There's also all these other factors that go into it, like people who are in health administration. Yeah. And so I think it was exposure like that that made me realize all the opportunities that are out there and how much and how important it is to seize them. And I think FACE has paved the bridge to let us do that, so. That's super cool because yeah. what you're doing right now totally supports that. You're, exactly. You have an internship in um, finances and mm -hmm. you're um, studying public health and that's really, really cool to hear. Um, aside from kind of exposure, mm -hmm. do you have a specific experience or memory that you remember and that you kind of carry on with you um, through your kind of a career pathway? I have wonderful memories of going to trips to, you know, college campuses and, you know, hearing all of these different health profession, professional people come on in and they tell us, you know, like, it is very important to have people like you, people of color, people from different backgrounds, you know, since I did grow up in a very rural community. Um, I thought it was really important for me to get exposure up here, which is why I did 2012 Face Center Medical Academy, and it was a beautiful opportunity to come to a brand new place where the Bay Area has so many opportunities, and yeah. you know it was good exposure to what's out there. Thank you so much for sharing that experience. It's it's one that we hear a lot, and you know we you're gonna be we're gonna be showing this video um, to other FACES alumni, other FACES students as well that will probably relate to a lot of what you're saying. Do you have any other kind of advice for them? Um, if you want to go ahead and speak into the camera and let them know. Yeah, so I think your voice is really important. For me, growing up 20 minutes from the border of Mexico, um, when I came to the 2012 FACES Summer Medical Academy, I realized how unique my perspective was. Everyone has something important to bring to the table and I think it's important to have your voice heard and I believe FACES provides that beautiful community where you can be heard and your opinions are respected and more importantly, you're, you're gonna empower each other. Dr. Tomas Sagania, he has empowered me to find my true self and to find confidence in myself that I feel like with this push I was able to find and you know, I've always carried that with me so I'm so grateful for that. So just always have confidence in yourself um, always get good exposure to whatever you can because any exposure is good exposure and most importantly just stay connected with your peers because they're going to be with you for the long run. Thank you so much again for taking the time to come in today and tell us and tell our audience all about your experiences, your own personal experiences mm -hmm. and sharing them in a way that um, is super empowering and super you know inspiring mm -hmm. um, to our students so again thank you so much of course yeah it's a pleasure to be here you know even though when I joined the program which was almost seven years ago <laughs> Uh, crazy to think that right? yeah it's crazy to think <laughs> that but I think it's so beautiful that I still you know am you know comfortable here to like come and be part of this program and yeah. you know to be an alumni now it's it's a beautiful thing to compete to experience that full circle of you know still being there and also you know yeah. pushing each other to do well
And then one last thank you to our audience for um, tuning in again, um, hearing uh, Allison's story and sharing it with your peers and getting the word out about what Faces is doing and you know our impact and all that. So thank you again. Bye. Bye.